your boy Jerry, Jerry Rafferty, we are back. Listen, Baker Street definitely left an impression on me, and I've been wanting to hear more from Jerry ever since. So this is right down the line, and we got a music, a, a lyric video. Hopefully, it don't give us no BS, um, but we'll we'll find out. But um, yeah, man, Jerry Rafferty again. Baker Street was incredible, and I can't wait to hear more and learn more about him. We'll do song research afterwards. But let's go. at these backing vocals or these uh, I'm gonna assume these are double tracks of him again we'll find out when we do the song research if these are different background uh, singers but um, I love this inclusion of, of background singers with him but um, yeah it's, it's pretty much a, a song dedicated to a woman I'm gonna assume uh, who well he did say woman a couple of times so definitely a woman Who's um who's got his back right down the line? That, this this woman is who you know knows more about him than anybody else, and who's always got his back. Um, shout out to this woman, whoever whoever he's talking about, and maybe we'll find out when we do the song research. But I'm liking it so far. I'm liking that bass line, best part so far. Uh,
love that part. I, I, I need to hear that again. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I love that part. Um, that was a really nice guitar. Like again, it was by far one of the more tamed, laid back guitar uh solos that I've heard. But it was really nice. Like it just sounded nice. Not having a better word to describe it. It was just a really nice solo. But uh, yeah, let me hear that. Let me hear that note again. So much more. I'm telling you that every day I'm loving you so much more. If I should doubt myself, if I'm losing ground, I won't turn to someone else. They don't. I like that. I like that. This is simple. Uh, Jerry, all of his songs have a very simple, laid. Well, I've only heard two songs, so let me not speak like I I've heard a bunch of Jerry Rafferty music, but it's just very laid back, like comforting, laid back music. I don't know why it's not popping up. Maybe it doesn't have a... a oh, yes, it do. Here we go. Okay. Written and recorded by Jerry. Released as a single in July 1978. It reached number 12 on the Billboard US Hot 100. Uh, number 8 in Cashbox. It was the third release from Rafferty, City to City LP, as the follow-up to his major hit as a solo artist, Baker Street. Okay. Right Down the Line was a bigger adult contemporary hit, hit Excuse me, spending four non-consecutive weeks at number one in the U.S. In Canada, the song reached number five on both pop singles and adult contemporary. Um... So Jerry vocals, rhythm guitar, Hugh Burns lead guitar, Tommy Air, organ and piano, Gary Taylor bass, BJ Cole steel guitar, Liam Janaki, I like that name, um, drums, Glenn Lafleur, and tambourining. Okay, so they only give Jerry uh, only Jerry has vocal credit, so maybe that was just double tracks of him singing. Um, along with himself um, during you know the chorus in certain parts um, so that's impressive all by himself all by himself Hugh Murphy producer United Artists that's the name of the label United Artists Records was an American record label founded by Maxie Youngstein of United Artists in 1957 yeah, 57 to issue uh, movie soundtracks. The label expanded into other genres such as easy listening, jazz, pop, and R&B. Hmm. I don't remember reading that. Did I ever read the labels he was on? When I initially read... Uh, let me go labels. Oh, I, I did not. I don't remember any of these. Transatlantic. Transatlantic is or was a British independent record label. The company was established in 1961 primarily as an importer of American folk, blues, and jazz records by many of artists who influenced the burgeoning British folk and blues boom. Hmm. 
United Artists, Liberty, London, Aval uh, Avalanche Records, and Hypertension. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't remember reading the labels he was on. Um. I think Baker Street. <sighs> I don't know. I was about to say, I think I like Baker Street better. But I did enjoy this. I'm, I'm going to have to go back and listen to Baker Street and then listen to this again. But impressed with both. I really, really enjoy both. Both were bops. Um, both I really enjoy. Again, very laid back songs. Uh, you, can tell he's pretty, you can tell he's probably a laid back person. He he just gives me a laid back energy when I hear his music, um, um, which is not a bad thing. It's actually a great thing because I'm also laid back. Um, but I really enjoyed it, man. I can't wait to hear more. Um, so we basically are listening to his biggest hits. They said it, first Baker Street came out, then this. Um, so we we pretty much reacted to uh, two of his biggest hits. So. Definitely excited to hear more, man. Y'all let me know what else from Jerry I need to check out. Um, and yeah, let me know how you felt about this one. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, with Jerry Rafferty. Peace.